Hey guys, and welcome back to another video of Old Car Guy. Today we're going on a little bit of an adventure. Yep, I bought another project vehicle. So stay tuned. So we've got this new project car on the back of the trailer here, and it's something I think you guys may recognize because, well, it's actually been part of the channel before. You see, a few months back, we decided that it was time to release one of the project vehicles from the channel. I'm going to put that video right here. And ever since then, the customer that had it drove it for about three weeks and something what is believed to be catastrophic failed on the car. Now, one of the things that we've got to keep in mind, and I know that I may receive some criticism on this, but the Grey Goose is back. So when I sold this vehicle, you got to keep in mind, it's a 2000, it's 20 years old. It also has almost 300,000 kilometers. So when I sell a car like this, I sell it with absolutely zero warranty. Uh, the car is in good shape. When I drove this last year, my wife actually drove it all winter long. And part of that was we put four new tires on it, brand new winter tires. Uh, we did brakes, uh, pads and rotors all the way around. We did a couple of suspension parts. We ended up doing a strut because one of the coil springs broke. Uh, I fixed some transmission lines and uh, the AC, the cruise control, all that stuff worked. He thinks the timing belt has gone. But he also told me they took the timing belt cover off and, well, the belt still had tension. And I said, well, maybe the belt didn't break. Maybe the tensioner failed seemingly looking like or feeling like the belt has tension on it up top but anyways we're going to tear into it we're going to find out what's wrong with it but in the meantime for those of you who are new to the channel let's take a quick peek at this project vehicle again i will ask that you guys keep in mind this is 20 years old it's a 2000 volkswagen passat and it's a wagon and well last time we didn't do much with it other than we drove it all winter last year with almost zero issues. Couple little things, nothing major. But if we come over here, we've got a little bit of rust here. The winter tires are still in really good shape. This door blister, the paint has started to come off, so we will touch that up. And we'll walk around it, and uh, the young fellow that had it did end up putting a sticker on it, so the Grey Goose is the Schwagen and you'll notice that the car is not a Passat anymore, it's a ass. And as we come around this side over here, nothing really new to report over here. Um, on the interior, it is full leather, and I assume that because the air box is here, that that means there's probably some sort of a redneck cold air box or something under the hood. So some of you might be asking, Jason, why would you buy back a car that does not run? Well, at this point, I've got 500 bucks tied up into this car. I went out last night, I towed it home, and here it sits on the trailer, we'll have to get it unloaded. And in the process of the next few videos, we're going to be diving into it. We'll be tearing apart the timing cover, the front of the, front of the motor, to see what's going on with that timing belt, if anything. and we'll try and determine whether or not the motor is FUBAR. If the timing has jumped, then that means the valves likely got bent, which in turn would mean either a new head or a new engine. So uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, but first we've got to dive into it. I just wanted to take this opportunity to introduce you guys back to the Grey Goose, AKA the Schwagen and um, one of the things that I did not get to do to this car last time we had it was put the two inch lift into it. Now, if you guys are familiar with Volkswagen and Audi and how familiar uh, the parts cross over with these things, the Audi A4 Quattro is the same platform as the Passat. And if we lift this car by a couple of inches, granted this is not an all wheel drive, but it will look like an all wheel drive. and well, it'll just look beefier. The wheels and tires are oversized. I've already done that. 
So even though they are 15s, I went from the standard, I think they're 195s, and I believe these are 205 70 15. So uh, we're a little bit bigger. Uh, the tires do not rub in any way, shape, or form. We'll get that little rust spot fixed up, and we will move forward probably on some of the original plans that I had for this car. Uh, nothing major. It's still, again, 20 years old. It's, it's, it's in really good shape for the age of it. Um, and I'm going to drive it likely as a winter beater. Um, so either myself or my wife, either way, we're going to make some use out of it and it'll be some uh, content for you guys on the channel. The other thing that I want you guys to keep in mind is this, that we've got a new friend of the Car Guy and Six Fan Show and his name is Jason also and he was on our live stream for the Car Guy and Six Fan Show. I'm going to leave that link right here. Jason has a YouTube channel in Australia called Streetcar Culture. And if you've ever had any interest at all in the Australian car scene, well, Jason's channel is something you're going to want to check out because there's lots of cool content. Jason is a Mazda guy at heart, and a lot of the vehicles that he works on, you're not going to find over here in North America. They're right-hand drive, they're pretty cool, and he's got a knack for making non-cool vehicles, kind of like this wagon behind me into cool vehicles so i hope you head on over to his channel he's getting very close to a thousand subscribers on his channel and we're hoping to help him get there and surpass that and be a part of our community so guys stay focused on the windshield not the rearview mirror i love you god bless let's do it again real soon Okay guys, we've now got this new project car. Well, it's not really new, but it kinda is. Is that dog done barking? Holy. The Grey Goose is back. And we're gonna look at some of the ideas. Oh my God, that dog is gonna drive me crazy. show must go on I guess he's very close to a thousand subscribers on his channel and he's hoping to gain some I, don't know why I can't talk today